Ooh, don't get too scared. <laughs> it's caught on in a flash. They did the mash. It did the monster mash. Hello, everybody. This is me, Twenty Tiger Dude, with One Young Swag Five and Sir Ron Race J. I got water, and it's good for you. Drink water. Hellraiser is a horror film. It's written and directed by Clive Barker. It stars Andrew Robinson, Claire Higgins, and Ashley Lawrence. The film is about this wife who has encounters with a zombie of her dead lover. A lot of sex goes around for that. There are demons that are pursuing him after he escaped their underworld. Hellraiser, I know, is a movie that a lot consider to be a horror classic. A lot of people love this movie. While I could kind of see why people may say it's a horror masterpiece, I personally think Hellraiser sucked. I really did not like Hellraiser, and that's cool for those that really enjoyed the movie or loved it, but me personally, I couldn't get into Hellraiser. I definitely had effort. It was definitely something unique, and I respect the film for that. Just for me, it just personally didn't really work together. Um, it was... Okay, I gotta say, it was an okay movie, to be honest. There, It has its flaws, and some parts in this movie is pretty good, so that's why I say it's an okay movie. That's my honest opinion. Mm, I consider it okay. A little bit funny... Not like the best horror movie, but... I'll say what I did like about the movie. The things I liked about the movie is that the special effects did look good. I liked the makeup effects on the monsters, and especially the skinless Frank. That was really cool right there. I actually thought that was pretty neat of the movie to do, so I did like the visuals. I thought it was very well done, and it was creative. You know, for whenever Pinhead appears, it's cool. I liked seeing him. The actor who plays a Pinhead, I thought he did a good job. But yeah, unfortunately, he doesn't have much screen time. But he was still good. Yeah. And then there were a couple of images that disturbed me. And the cinematography looks good. The movie looks beautiful. That's all I have for good with Hellraiser. In my honest opinion, they should put, like, Pinhead more in... In this movie, because since 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 it's basically based off his of his name and what he does, Hellraiser, they they should have put him more in this film. I mean, like the graphics were okay and everything, you know, but like, I that's my honest opinion actually. There was actually, in my honest opinion, there's actually like less action, you know, like less of the gore horror stuff because. Mostly they just did, it's more talk, more of them talking, but which really didn't interest me that much. I like the way they did, like, they made, like, you know, the the characters, like Hellraisers and all the other characters, like, with Hellraiser. I, I like the way they made them, like, you know, the way they all look. I like the actors are who play those characters. I actually enjoy like the way they act. Another buddy here, like said, like they should have like did less talking. My negatives with this movie, honestly, you guys, I do have a lot of problem. And for me, I didn't think the storyline was very well written. Now, while I could obviously see this movie did have an idea, obviously it was going for something different, which I respect. There were minor spots here and there where I was like, oh, that's sort of creative, but the storyline I thought was messy. It wasn't written very well, and it just came off as forced. The storyline tries to scare you, and... While there are a couple of images that made me go, oh, wow, that's disturbing, all the other images they were showcase in the film came off as really stupid and very laughable. Like, I, I know the movie's trying to scare you, but instead of actually scaring me, I'm actually kind of like, 
are you for real? I just didn't think the writing was good. I just I thought it was very bad. At least I could recognize that they tried, but it just didn't work for me personally. If you're going to have a horror film, you want to make sure you have good characters. Characters you can root for, characters you can get behind. But in here, I did not give a shit about any of the characters. I didn't find any of them interesting. They try to be convincing, but they just weren't interesting. And then there's this father character that just looks so bored. He talked like a robot. Like he's all like, oh, there's nothing up there, honey. I just thought it was more random. It was more out of place. They're overreacted or just look plain bored. And like, and the actors did try and I respect them for trying to give it their all. But I just thought how they try to bring out their characters, it really didn't help. It's not really their fault, it's just the fact that their characters are so boring and not interesting and I just don't give a shit about what happens to them. The sex concept of the movie, I just didn't buy into it. I just thought it felt very random. Every time characters are having sex out of nowhere, I'm just kind of like, well, okay then. Ugh, the ending just... What? The ending was terrible. It seriously angered me. Those are my problems with Hellraiser. But like, yeah, you know, you're right. The ending was pretty whack. And also Pinhead, too. It was pretty dope. I like his mask, actually. Was like, yeah, but... that's another thing I credit to. You know, I liked how the character had all those nails. And I know the actor who played him, it was hard because it would take hours for them to have all that makeup and put all those nails. And I mean, I truly respect the actor because, wow, to uh, to be in a role where you have so many nails in your face, it's crazy. So for the actor, uh, props to you, seriously. Oh, that's pretty really, really really well done makeup right there, especially with the pinhead. Totally agree. I support some of the actors, how they they did, like what they can do, dealing with all the makeups and... Like, set out, like, whatever they had to deal with. I wanted to give this movie a 2 for okay, just to be kind of generous, but I don't have enough positives for me to really say it was an okay movie. The bad outweighs the good big time, in my opinion, so I gotta give Hellraiser 1.5 out of 4 stars. It, it was an okay movie to me, so I'll give it, like, about a 5 out of 10. That's what I would give. That's my rating for it. That's our review for Hellraiser. Of course, comment down below and tell me what you think of this movie. Do you disagree with us? Do you agree with us? You know, everyone has their own opinion. Film is subjective. So comment down below. I want to thank Saran Reyes J and William Swag Fly for guest starring for Hellraiser. And thank you for letting us guest star in your review. Subscribe to my channel. Like my new Facebook page. Facebook.com slash one young swike five. Follow me on Instagram, like my videos, share, etc. etc. I'll leave a link to one young swike five's channel and Facebook page in the description below. You can add me through Xbox 360. He will leave a link below. This is me, 22 Tiger Dude. This is one young swike five. And Smart is Jay. And don't forget that the three of us will always have. Tiger. Tiger Chicken Power, power. <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Yeah